Hi, this is Nathan Vari with Carolina Computer Network Solutions, and today I'm going to talk to you about some tips and tactics that you can use to help avoid spam from ruining your small business. One of the tools that has been an absolute blessing and godsend to my small business is Google Apps. Google Apps is a great tool that Google's put out uh, not too long ago that includes a Gmail account, calendar, Google Talk, documents, sites, and um, all kinds of email security and uh, it's really been a very useful tool as far as um, having plenty of email storage Google as you know has all some of the top spam control in the entire industry and it's really incredible with what they've done and what they've put together and how you can use this and leverage this to help your small business grow and to help you avoid uh, you know technology headaches and uh, just increase your productivity. Google has also put together some wonderful tutorials uh, for how to put this together and uh, step by step but just in case it's not something that you want to do I'd be happy to help you do this um, and you can give me a call my phone number is 704-248-6227 but I'm gonna go through here in the video and uh, pretty quickly just show you how you can get this set up and also give you some other tips later in the video for other ways to avoid spam email. Alright, and to get started you'll just type in the browser www.google.com forward slash A for alpha and then another slash and then hit enter. So again that's google.com forward slash A for alpha and then uh, just hit enter and it'll take you there or you can go to Google search engine and type in Google Apps and it'll come up that way in the search results as well and you'll see a little um, icon over here to compare editions and sign up I'm just gonna click on that real quick and you'll see here that on my screen Google offers right now two editions standard edition and premier edition uh, to be honest with you standard edition has done everything that I've needed uh, it for as a technology consultant and um, I haven't had a use for Premier Edition yet but I'm sure as my business grows and as I work with other clients I'll run into a need for Premier Edition but it's fairly inexpensive only fifty dollars a year and you get 25 gigabytes of email storage on that so that's a pretty good deal in, uh, in my opinion so we'll just click on the standard edition sign up link here and the next step is to buy a domain name or use one of your existing domain names and for this example I'm gonna use an existing domain name that I own um, there's there's the option to buy a domain domain name here but honestly um, you know ten dollars a year isn't a lot of money but you can get domains cheaper somewhere else and also there might be some other benefits to getting them somewhere else such as hosting and um, more control if you have your uh, files stored on a server there and things like that so I would strongly uh, suggest that you host or buy a domain name somewhere else um, and for this example I'll show you what that looks like what what that process looks like um, but that's that's what I would recommend you can you can buy one from Google if you want but again I recommend uh, using a domain name that you own from somewhere else so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and I'm just going to type up um, administrator I own or control this domain because that's the case for me and if you're the owner of your company and you own the domain that'll be the case for you as well so the domain name that I've entered here is nathanvari.com and we'll see what this looks like as we go through this process okay as you can see here there's a really simple sign up form uh, just a couple of quick information items and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video fill out this form and if there's anything uh, that I think you might need to know more about I'll pause the video and explain it to you alright this form was pretty self-explanatory and I believe you'll be able to fill it out just fine so I'm gonna click the continue button now I need to set up the administrator account for this domain name and so I'm just going to fill that in info out really quick. It's going to ask me for a username, a password, and the password needs to be at least six characters in length. And a good rule of thumb for a password is, you know, more than six characters, have at least one capitalized letter, a lowercase letter, 
and a number or some character in there if it will allow you to put a character and that's a pretty secure password so that's what I'm going to do and uh, then I'll see you at the end of this page okay then there's a Google Apps agreement be sure to read that agreement and then just click the I accept and continue with setup button alright and immediately it takes me to Google Apps start page for NathanVari.com and the first thing that I need to do here to get my email working is to verify my, my, do my domain ownership um, that I in fact do own that domain and that's pretty simple to do I'll walk you through that real quick I'm just gonna click on the verify domain ownership and there's a couple different methods here I can either upload an HTML file or change the CNAME record well if you know how to use FTP or if you know how to upload files to your website um, then HTML is probably the most simple method to use um, the CNAME record it might be a little bit more complicated if you're not sure what that is so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to use that HTML file method it's really simple really easy I'm just gonna click on upload an HTML file really quickly and as you'll see Google displays some instructions on the screen for exactly what to name the file and some text to put in the file and I'll show you how to do this uh, really quickly here okay so I'm just gonna go to my desktop here and create a new file and I'm gonna just create a text document here and I will rename the text document to exactly what Google asked me to just by uh, copying and pasting and then hit enter and I'm gonna change that file name and then I'm going to edit this document so I'm just gonna right click on the document go to open with and then click on the notepad button and that'll allow me to edit that document now I'm going to go back to my Google Apps page that I was just on and copy the text that Google asked me to copy right here. And I'm going to go back to that Google hosted services.html document that's on my desktop that I have opened with Notepad right now. And I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to save it. And that's it. And I'll show you how to upload that in just a second. Alright, and now I'm just going to open up an FTP window. Um, you can use your FTP program that you usually use, or I just like to use Windows Explorer. It's easy for me to do. Um, to access your FTP site, it's going to usually be FTP colon slash slash, and then your domain name, whatever that is, and then forward slash, and then it's going to ask you for a username and password and uh, so I've already entered that in I've accessed my website and all I need to do now is go back to my desktop just like this and then I need to right click on that new document I just created copy it and then go back to my FTP site and right click and then click paste and as you'll see that documents now up there so I'm gonna close out this window go back to Google Apps and I'm gonna click the verify button and just wait a minute alright and Google is now um, updating my status it may take up to 48 hours to finish checking the domain ownership I've never seen it take that long